Well, yeah, well, yeah. The kind of... ABC presents Henry Morgan in a new program featuring Bernie Green and his orchestra and a few mistakes. And here he is, the star of our show, Henry... Aldrich. Aldrich. Ford. Ford. Morgan, you told Henry Morgan. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here are the results of last week's program, which was the first in a series of one. Now, tonight we bring you the first in the second series of one. Next week we'll have the third in the first series of two. And the week following that, we're going to have the fourth in the first series of four. Or the last... Uh, uh, we're going to have the third in the... Th uh, of course, if the Dodgers win tomorrow, <laughs> uh, it makes... Well, we only have 28 more minutes to go. Now for the results... That's a radio type joke of last week's joke. Show. A woman in Perth Amboy, after listening, wrote, Dear Mr. Morgan, I heard you broadcast. Frankly, why don't you have it on earlier if it's going to be so scary? <laughs> the short wave broadcast was heard by a gentleman in Moscow who wrote, Yes, 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 have been pouring in. Life magazine wants to send a photographer around to take pictures of the cat for their other publication, Death. <laughs> I tell you one thing in confidence about the jokes on this show. The other joke shows aren't on the air yet, so I don't have anybody to steal from. But uh, now that I have my own comedy program, I have to look the part. So, uh, I'm going to have my head shaved for a toupee, and uh, I'm going to get a brother-in-law and a mother-in-law and an announcer who giggles and a closet with a lot of loose stuff in it, and I'm going to have a fuse. Fuse are good, like the one between Benny and Alan. I'm going to get into that one on Alan's side. If that doesn't work, I'll start a feud with Tuscanini. That would be fun, you know. You might not think so, but I can insult him Tuesday. Saturday, he can get back at me with, uh, boom, 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 ding. It's <laughs> a weird joke, isn't it? Well, he'd have me there. I, I could Mr. have a... Morgan. Yes. There's a gentleman here to see you. This is Mr. W. W. Krubish. Oh. Uh, how do you do? Uh, Mr. Morgan, I represent the editors of Bulb, the 15-cent radio magazine that lights up. <laughs> What is uh, your job? Uh, I'm a tube feeler. A tube feeler? Yeah. When your radio goes, goes dead, I reach around in the back of the set and fill the tube. And? If I get a cold one, it comes out. If I get a hot one, I go out. I see. Well, what did you want to see me about? On behalf of the air people, the 15-cent radio magazines that lights up, I would like to present you with this scroll. Which bulb, the 15-cent radio magazine that lights up, gets to the program which it deems the most consecutive in the opinion of both the 15-cent radio magazine that lights up. And here you are, sir. Oh, well, that's very kind of you. But uh, tell me, why does it say on the scroll... To Harry Horlick, A&T Gypsy, <laughs> 1928. Yeah, wasn't that a great show? <laughs> As you know, this program, you can ignore the entire thing if you like. This program is presented as a public service, and in the public service we present... <laughs> issues which confront you and me. You and I. Oh. This past week, many problems have arisen which puzzle the man on the street. But one major question is on everybody's lips. The question of the week. Hmm? What? Thank you. <laughs> now for the music. We were going to get the Andrews sisters, but, uh... The one who goes, da 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 da
isn't speaking to the one who goes, Dilly, 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 Dilly. <laughs> so instead we have Frank Novak. Five years, I'm working on this. 
Maybe today is the day when I discover the discovery. <laughs> now I put in a little potassium for manganese. Now I put in a little test of hydrochloric oxide. <laughs> now I put in a little bit of this red stuff in this bottle here. <laughs> well, I use the blue stuff, same thing. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's good. Now comes the special formula. I use ingredient X, two drops. But <laughs> now, I taste it. Mm. <laughs> Still not so good like Dr. Pepper. <laughs> oh, I tell you, I tell you. I poured out a window. Tired, discouraged, but weary. <laughs> I touch it over to the window. He opens it. And then it comes to him. What is it? Could that be? It's me that... What is it? Emily. 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 Oh, it's no one. Oh, it's no one. Emily, give us smell. At last you have done it. Oh, Emily. Yes, Emily. At last I've discovered it. I will call this air after my best friend, Sigmund. <laughs> ah, Emily, it's wonderful. Leap open the window. Yeah. 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 The use of this is limited. In a minute, a man took a donut and up with air.
electrical transcription coming on. Twenty years ago, a number of brothers made a motion picture, and it popped. Today, we bring you movies at their peak. Yes, they're together again. In the picture the world says of the make. The picture they dare the world to see. You thrill as he says. And she says. And he says. I know. And she says. Drama, excitement, love. Don't miss this thrilling action pack. Two fisted slam bang taco picture. See it today at Lowy's. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Mariner's Quartet. <laughs> oh, McDonald's had a party, yeah, yeah, and on the party had a car, yeah, yeah, with a boo-boo here and a boo-boo there, and a boo-boo there, and a boo-boo there, and a Frankly, but you. 
Did you really? Yeah. Thank you very much. And now to get on. Why didn't you answer my letter? <laughs> Later. Uh, now for the first question. Well, you're fatter than Frankie. <laughs> That's quite true. Now for the first question. Well, you're your sloppier than Frankie. That's fine. You now have a dollar. <laughs> Now, Stella, are you ready for your second question? Would you mind repeating it, please? Why? <laughs> I love to hear you talk. <laughs> hey, Mr. Morgan, I'd rather hear you talk than... Uh, I don't know what. <laughs> you can the group play. <laughs> yes. Now, look, Stella, we have... Now, why, why the end to my life? <laughs> Stella, you have two dollars. <laughs> what do you want to do? Thank you very much. Stand by for the jackpot question. Now, ladies and gentlemen. I have a lady at the balcony, Doctor. Huh? Get out of the way. And now for our next contestant. Good evening, sir. Good evening. What did you receive on your way into the theater tonight? A mattress. Can I put it down now? Certainly. Thanks. They run out of pencils and they had to give me something. Oh, of course. Uh, now, Mr. Uh, Gable. Clark Gable. Clark Gable? Yeah, I'm the real one. The other one's a phony. <laughs> I see. Uh, where are you from, sir? Why? <laughs> well, I, I thought it might be interesting to the audience. What's the sad business? They won't clap for me unless I say I'm from Brooklyn. Are you from Brooklyn? No, the Bronx. <laughs> See, I told you. Yeah. All right, Mr. Gable, here's our first question. For one dollar, what is the capital of the United States? I don't know. You don't know? I'm stupid. <laughs> well, tell me, is your wife in the audience? Yeah. Remember, Mrs. Gable, no help. You kidding? She's even stupider than me. <laughs> Tell me, how long have you two been married? Married 25 years today. 25? Well, isn't that... Congratulations. Uh, how about a little handful? I hate it. <laughs> yes. Well, to get back to our... Get back to our first question. Uh, what is the capital of the United States? I told you once, I don't know. Kill me. That's an idea, Mr. Gable. <laughs> I'll just lie there for the jackpot question. <laughs> and now we have another... That lady in the balcony, Doctor. Huh? But you should have seen the one that got away. <laughs> now for our next contestant. Good evening, sir. Say, I want you to feel that you could ask me anything. I know all kinds of stuff. I know where bats go in the daytime. I know how to bake yogurt. <laughs> Been married three times. Could speak a lot of chalk toy to improve. For example, chug a lug, chug a bun, with a coffee, have your turtle, so forth. What does that mean? Means I can make my own yogurt. <laughs> well, now, what did you receive on your way in here? An elbow in the stomach. <laughs> Didn't you receive a pencil? No, nah, they was pushing us in here so fast and the... Uh, the fellow giving him a word was pretty slow. He couldn't get the lead out, you know. <laughs> hey, uh, tell me something. Uh... Oh, well, well, what would you like to talk about? Oh, girls? <laughs> no, uh, pick a subject from the chart. Say, speaking of girls, I knew a jelly in Kansas City. Oh, boy, we did have the big time together, I tell you, but it only lasted about two years. Well, what happened? We got married. <laughs> I see. Now, here's your first question. Wait, I got a slow idea. How'd you like to hear an off-color story? <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. Sure. There's probably girls with you, see. He has... No, please, for goodness sake, play some music or something. Well, there's probably girls... <laughs> Ahead. <laughs> Thank you very much. 
Now for the jackpot question. I will ask the question. The orchestra will play a number, during which you write your answer on a piece of paper. Now, is everybody ready? The question is, who said, don't give up the ship? All right, let's look at these answers. <laughs> John Paul Jones is wrong. John Paul Jones, that's wrong. Uh, John Paul Jones is wrong. Sorry, better luck next time. The jackpot goes to me. Uh, good night. We are uh, very happy to have had you. Uh... There's a lady in the balcony, Doctor. Huh? Oh, oh, it's no lady. It's my wife. That joke was a mistake. Join us again next week. Join us again next week when our special guest will be Sam. Until then, this is the Morgan saying, Oh, thanks for the memory. I'm sorry, that's old, isn't it? Good night. <laughs>